welcome back to another video and in today's video I am going to be uh, painting this watercolor piece um, and I thought that while I do that I would talk to you guys have a little chat about studying art at uni uh, and uh, studying abroad because that's been a very 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 requested topic from many many of you so uh, yeah uh, first of all, I'm just going to say that I'm using my Winsor & Newton um, watercolors and uh, this washi tape is from uh, the study kiosk and you can use my code PIPA for 10% off on the entire store. And after all of that, let's, uh, let's get into uh, the actual topic of this voiceover, which is studying art. And I'm probably going to give you guys some advice along the way, so uh, based on my personal experience. So just a little backstory, I study animation at Leeds Arts University in the UK and uh, I am not from the UK, I'm from Portugal, so I did move uh, for um, education purposes. I moved to study basically and it was a great decision and I'll, for, I'll explain why um, in a little bit. And basically uh, I didn't go straight into animation as a course, I did a foundation year uh, before that and the reason why I did that is because I was not very sure which part of art I wanted to pursue. I just knew I wanted to study art. So basically what you do in the foundation year is that you try out all these different um, tangents in uh, the art uh, community, I guess, and you try out all these different sort of courses and you then get um, diagnosed really uh, about which course you should go into and of course the final decision is yours and but yeah just the support from the tutors and everything is mind-blowing and it was a great decision for me to do that because I got a lot of help in figuring out what I wanted to do so halfway through the year I uh, figured out that animation was what I wanted to do because I fell in love with it so I then on just applied uh, again to my universities and I stayed within Leeds Art University because the facilities and the people and everything is amazing uh, and it was like a no-brainer really uh, and yeah that's the little backstory so the first thing that I've got written down here is um, the topic of parents uh, which is a topic that I get asked about a lot and um, the first thing that I want to say is that I'm very blessed that my parents are very supportive of what I do um, of course, the shock of when I told them that I wanted to go into art for university was, you know, the natural reaction from, you know, worried parents because there's always that, you know, stigma and argument that it's an unreliable career, uh, unreliable income, um, and that's not true for every single um, art career, let me tell you. It's not very true. Uh, that is mostly just true for people that work freelance sometimes. Uh, or like independent artists. Uh, I, 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 since a young age, my parents have been aware that I was gonna pursue art, but they had hopes that I wouldn't really. So that's the best way I can put it. But so when I told them that I wanted to study art, they weren't, they weren't surprised at all. Uh, they were just like, ah, oh, chucks, we really thought you were going to go into medicine, <laughs> which I was going to do for a while. And then I decided, nah, I, I'm gonna do art. That's what makes me happy. And that's another thing that I wanted to talk about next is that's that, that was a really mature decision of me because uh, doing what you love is a lot more important than doing something uh, reliable and stable because I got uh, this from many, many people that, yeah, you, sh you love art, but you can do it as like a side thing. And I'm like, yeah, but I don't want to do it as a side thing because what if I don't have time to do it as a side thing? Like art is what makes me happy. It's what gives me purpose in life. Why would I not pursue that? as a career so uh yeah i decided to drop all of my uh arts uh, art school no my uh, med school applications and everything and uh, apply to art schools and yeah everything's been going really good since then so <laughs> yeah i just you got to think about what you're going to be the most happy the happiest doing my english today is amazing i'm so sorry about that but um yeah you have to think what's going to make you the happiest and do that is the best advice that I can give you. Um, the next thing that I wanted to talk about is the application process. Uh, I basically firstly applied through UCAS to all of the fine art courses that I had initially applied for and when I realized that fine art was not what I wanted to pursue I rejected all my offers 
and <laughs> I found out about Leeds Arts University as well as I heard really good things about it through many people. So I applied through their website on the day before their deadline, uh, which I do not recommend. Uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, I was just very lucky that I, I got to apply to them on time. And I applied through their website and it was really smooth, really easy. Uh, and then I got accepted a week later to do the foundation year. I, I didn't actually get um, asked to do an interview, but a lot of my uh, course mates did and uh, they said it was really good because they got to see the uh, facilities and everything and talk to the tutors and it was really cool and yeah I, I got accepted and it was really really smooth uh, from then on it was really nice and then the year after when I applied for the actual animation course it was even smoother because it was an internal um, application and everything uh, even though I did go to many other interviews across the country just to, you know, be sure in my decision when I did make it. But I did still stay in Leeds Art because it was pretty much a no-brainer. Uh, but yeah, the, the, basically the only uh, difficult thing in app applying to Art Uni is uh, the, the portfolio process. And I'm going to make a completely separate video about um, that. Uh, the portfolio process is probably the most difficult bit. Uh, and the most time consuming bit, but uh, once you figure that bit out, you, um, you're good to go. And yeah, I've got some like um, pointers about studying art at uni that I think you guys would be um, happy to hear about. It is super, super, super fun. It is extremely fun and um, amongst other things, obviously, uh, first of all, there's no exams, which is, you know, really really cool but you do have deadlines and that's one thing that i want to talk about if you're already going to study art at uni is to please oh my god please don't leave everything to the last minute because you will die um like uh, like many of my friends and i did sometimes um yeah just please like be organized with stuff and do things gradually and not at the end of the line just before the deadline um you know it's a lot of studio time and a lot of process work so uh just don't just don't put stuff off because you will hate yourself <laughs> if you do uh, and also it is honestly the most fulfilling experience just going to university uh, to study art because you're in a place where everyone around you shares the same passions as you and they, they you love you all love the same things but then you're all from different backgrounds and everyone has different perspectives and points of view and everything and different mindsets and it's amazing because you you get inspired by these people and also you get to work with them and learn from them and it's honestly the most amazing thing um i just from knowing all the friends that i've made uh, at art uni has made me such a better person and i know that's cliche but it's true like it it just has and on a personal level not even just you know academic or creative in a personal level they've made me such a better person just knowing them and yeah so inspiration from your peers is a huge thing that um it's a huge plus from going to art uni i think uh, and of course uh you become very independent and this is more specifically for people who study abroad like i did because i am not from the uk i moved to the uk to study so it was a huge huge shock like it was very di di difficult for me to adapt but I think it was more difficult for me because I I've always gone to the same school since I was four so I only knew this one thing and I went to school with the same people since I was four so going to a completely different country uh, to study something at a different place was like a huge huge shock but after a couple of uh, months of adjustment I'm now super super independent and I'm doing a lot of things that I never thought I would do <laughs> but yeah that's the one thing that I always wanted to be when I went to university was independent and I've achieved that which is uh really really cool and amazing uh so yeah I I just want to uh end this video with uh fulfill your purpose because that is the one of the most important things in, in life is um fulfilling your purpose and achieving your goals and uh just being happy so uh, if you if you want to study art, I highly highly recommend it because it is going to make you happy. Um, uh, so yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoyed uh, me rambling at you guys. If you have any further questions about this topic or have any other topics you'd like to request for me to talk about, leave them in the comments section below. Uh, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed 
and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.